Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is this is nice. This is this is real nice, you know. I don't have to hear the you know what I'm saying? It's just it real smooth, you know, quiet, peaceful. It's like waking up, drinking coffee, and everything going right. That's that's how this ride feel like. No music, you know what I'm saying? It's kinda nice, man. Now nah, I'm lying, I need my motor. Now I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I low-key am having second thoughts about this rap, and I'm about to pull up to the shop to start rapping it in the color that I'm having second thoughts about. But son, what happened? Son, we gotta we gotta we gotta work on this. They told they told me a thousand dollar to die. God damn, got his ass. We got so much to do today. We just dropped off my mama's car, Mama, Mama Dukes. Uh, Mama Hellcat just dropped her car off. So we are changing the rap. But we is finally finna go get the actual rap. We were gonna do Matt Black, but my car's already black. They said, "Hey, black man, why you gonna rap a black car black? It's because I'm black. We gonna switch it up. We gotta do something crazy. Let me show you something." Shout out to Mama Hellcat for letting me use her car today. All right, y'all, so we finna, I gotta go to Whataburger, bro, because they, they done messed my order up. How I got scammed, because that's why y'all clicked on the video, all right? Duh. I wanted to get my car wrapped. I was going to Las Vegas. Um, I called probably anywhere from like six to 10 rap shops, because I didn't know a lot of rappers at this time. I was trying to get my car wrapped before I was really doing YouTube as heavy as I was. I'm not about to hear this the whole ride. As heavy as I was gonna do it, I found a guy after talking to a few of my friends. He's like, hey, this guy does good work. I'm like, why not give him a chance? You know, I wanted to support a small business. I had a lot of options, bro. And there's a lot of people that my friends did get their cars wrapped by. But at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of hidden talent where, you know, people are just not known. And, you know, I wanted to try to help somebody out. You know, somebody do good work for me. Hopefully, I could be able to, I could be able to, you know, promote them, get them a few jobs after they did mine. I'm heading to Vegas. We couldn't get the rap in time. So I picked my guy. We pick out the rap. I'm like, all right, cool. Let me go ahead and order it. I order it when I'm out in Vegas. So then when I come back, the rap's ready to go. And I can go ahead and just start taking the car to him he can start on it as soon as i get back i was mad that it couldn't get worked on um before i went to vegas but it was kind of last minute so i wasn't really tripping so get the get back wait a few days rap finally comes in boom it's time to go i don't really trust people when it comes to my car so for that simple reason you know i'm gonna check in with you i'm gonna make sure everything's good make sure you know the rap's going good i hit him up probably three days after bro still hasn't even started on my car they're working on their cars. So I'm like, uh, oh, I'm definitely gonna have to get that fixed. I gotta, re, I gotta go recalibrate my car. But he doesn't start on my car for the first three days. So I'm like, all right, um, when are you gonna start on it? You know, he's telling me it's about a week turnaround. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead, cause I need my car for content. Before I even dropped off the car, you know, he checked out the car, he saw it and Give me a price, whatever. Um, tells me a week turnaround. Also ask him, hey bro, can you not post the car? I do YouTube and I kind of want it to be a surprise. 
Um, so he starts on the car three days after I dropped the car off. Good from the pictures, from how he takes the pictures. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Maybe five, six days later, he runs out of wraps. So I'm like, uh, makes me worried because if you wrap cars, you should know how much wrap you need. But at the same time, I was like, you know, he might have just messed up. He wants it to be perfect. And he just, you know, he just ran out of wrap. So we get more wrap. I pay for it. He ends up um, paying for the difference of the wrap if I would have bought it all at the same time. So I was like, all right, cool. I appreciate you for, you know, running your business like that. And, you know, taking responsibility for your mistake. Because it was his mistake. After we get the new wrap in, I come drop the car back off. Mind you. When we were waiting on the wrap, since the wrap's about a week and a half away, I got my car because I don't trust people. So, I ordered the wrap. I'm like, hey, bro, can I come pick up the car today? Um, basically, at this point, most of the car was done besides, I think, maybe a fender and uh, I think it was like a fender and a quarter panel. So, I'm like, all right, cool. So, I, I pull up. I see the car in the shop. Car looks terrible terrible bro from inlays poking out all the fenders having bubbles you can see where they overstretch the wrap and all this mind you at that time i did not have the knowledge about wrapping that i do now but in my customer eyes i was like nah bro this does not look good so i wait for him to pull out the shop because i guess he has a girl and a employee or two there so i wait for him to pull out the shop and i go up to him i'm with one or two of my homeboys i'm like hey bro i can't pay for this bro like straight up i see the car i'm like dog i can't i can't pay for this and he's like what you mean bro what you mean i'm like bro look at the car bro like look 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 at the fenders bro look at all these bubbles he's like ah bro i can fix it woo -doo -woo -woo. i'm like bro i don't think you can bro you're gonna have to order all new rap for that bro like I don't know much about rapping, but I know that is that is how fucked up is fucked up is that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I'm at this time, I'm low key getting irritated, bro, because I just spent all this money for it to look shitty, bro. Like, and the thing about me, bro, just give me a quality job, bro. If it costs six, seven, eight, ten k, fifteen k, tell me that's what it is to get a quality job. Don't try to give me a cheap price and and think you're gonna half-ass my job, bro. If you give me a price, bro. Make sure you're doing quality work because before this even started, and before I took, before we decided to go with the guy, I'm like, hey, bro, I, I own a detail company, so I'm real particular. I pay very close attention, you know. So when I wash my car, bro, I'm gonna see everything you fucked up on. He's like, nah, bro, don't even worry, bro. I got you, bro. It's gonna be fire, bro. I'm gonna make sure I can present your vision, blah blah blah. All the everything sound good. I'm like, All right, cool. And basically, I'm like, bro, if you can't get these out, bro, I'm not going to pay, bro. And he tries to reassure me on, oh, bro, it, it'll come out, it'll blah, 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 right? It'll come out, and if not, I'll pay for your wrap, pay for the next person to wrap it in, pay for the sticker. Mind you, that sticker is a $700 sticker. Sound cheap, but... When you're paying $700 for a whole roll of wrap and a $700 for a sticker that covers less than half the car, it's like, dog. Well, um, you get for what you pay for, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, nigga, what? So I'm pissed, bro. After you said that, bro, I'm hot, bro. Like, I was mad, bro. But after you said that, bro, I'm through the roof, bro. I'm, I'm pissed, bro. I'm cussing everybody out. Because it's like, that's how you run your business, bro. You get for what you pay for, bro. If you ever say that in business, bro, you should not be running a business, bro. You should be running a business to do quality work, not shitty shitty work so you can get money, bro. Like, that's not... You You can make a little money, but you're not going to be making money how everybody else making money, bro, in the industry. So at that point, I'm pissed. His girl come out talking and trying to act like I'm broke. Don't do that, baby. <laughs> you feel me? Don't do that. Um, and so I snap on her. You ain't finna, I don't care if you a girl, a man, I don't care if you Barney, bro. I'm, I'm going off on you, bro. Everybody's treated equally in my eyes. If you go off on me, I'm going off on you. Simple, point blank, bro. 
Like, so she started saying, oh, your underglow don't even work and you worried about a rap. $120 underglow versus a $3,000 rap job? Where does that make sense? Where does that make sense? And and guess what? My underglow was installed correctly. And it worked for a year. I just saw the car. Ain't the rap ain't even worked for 24 hours. And you gonna compare compare what y'all doing to, to my underglow that broke because it flooded? Come on now. Come on now. And then she gonna say, um, oh well, uh I pay all my cars for cash. Okay. All right. So, boom, I'm going off on everybody. We recorded a video. I'm recording, bro, at this point, because I'm like, if I have to take him to court, I need proof. So, at this point, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where, what the next step is. After I go off on everybody, my friend trying to cool me down, but at this point, I'm not, I'm not cool with it, bro. I'm, I'm not okay, bro. Um, so he's like, hey, bro, look, if I can't fix it, if I can't fix the bubbles, if word for word, bro, if I can't fix the bubbles in your fender and we can't fix the bumper, I will pay for all your wrap, the sticker, and I'll also pay for somebody to pay to, to do your wrap. Word for word. All right. So if you cannot fix the bubbles. You will rebuy the wrap and the decal for my car. I will rebuy the wrap. I will rebuy the decals. If you want me to pay another rapper to do it, I will do that too for you. I don't care. But at the same time, you have to also understand you're getting what you pay for. So as y'all see, bro, he he said what exactly. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, I am I'm beyond pissed, bro. I'm beyond pissed. And when he said that, I was like, okay, all right, let me go ahead and give him his money, bro. You know what I'm saying? He said I have it on video. He's got he's got to he's got to do right, right? Bring it back to him when the rap comes in. Finishes in about another week, even though he told me two, three days. Finishes about another week. Go pick up the car. Car looks better. Still looks like shit though. So I'm like, all right, it looks better, bro. It looks better, bro. You did your shit on on this and this. Still looks like shit though. So I'm like, hey, bro, what about the bubbles on these fenders, bro? You told me you were going to get them all off. You know, the front bumper definitely looks better, bro. But you got some peel back here, here, and here. He's like, bro, just let it cure, bro. There, mind you, when we get there, bro, they're still they're still using the heat gun trying to stretch where, where it pulled back. So I'm like, well, if you say you're done, you, you shouldn't be touching a car no more, bro. And any any rapper, if... If you wrap cars, bro, you know that if a panel, if a if the wrap shrinks back after you post heated it and cut, bro, you you did not post heat it right, bro. It should not be shrinking back, bro. Once you have a panel all the way laid down, bro, you can't fix it, bro. All that tension and you have a small little piece picking back up, you you can't fix it, bro. It's it's too short. It obviously slipped for a reason, bro. So at that point, the whole panel's pretty much ruined. The dirt, the trash is already in the wrap. You, you just can't fix it, bro. It's not going to stick like it used to. So, fast forward. And then, mind you, I picked it up at nighttime. I wake up in the morning. I look at the car, bro. I call him immediately, bro. I'm like, bro, it still looks like shit, bro. This, this, this looks terrible, bro. And he's like, uh... I can order some more wrap and do this and this. I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just order, order the wrap. I'm, I'm like, just order the wrap. My thinking, I'm like, he's he gonna order the wrap and then I'm gonna just go take it to somebody else to finish up the car. The sticker is messed up. Seven hundred dollar sticker messed up on the fender. Each wide body piece had shit on it, bro. Like you can see the bubble along the whole line because they didn't pull the fender off. And man, wrap never came in. The rap didn't come in. Um, he tries to avoid me, bro. His business partner tried to calm me down, bro. You, you can't calm me down, bro. You There's not shit you can say, bro. 
Y'all try to wrap my car, fucked me over, said y'all would help and fix it, and y'all never did, bro. I'm finna ruin y'all business, bro, because, because why are y'all fucking people over, bro? Like, and you can, you can use, you can use, oh, this is my first time rapping at Hellcat Widebody. Motherfucker, this is my first time rapping a car in general, period. And my car does not look like that, bro. I'll show y'all videos of this car, bro. The car looked the way it did because they were lazy. They were lazy and tried to wrap over the whole car and didn't pull the fucking parts off. The wide body piece has clips and, and, and a few screws. How are you gonna wrap a, how the fuck are you gonna wrap a bumper on the fucking car, bro, with the grills in? Please tell me, you can't. You, you can't, bro. And at the time, bro, I didn't know all this, bro. But after sitting down and wrapping my car myself, bro, and I see, bro, it makes me more mad, bro. Because it's not, it's not that you you don't know, you don't know what to do. It's it's the fact that you're lazy, bro. If you can lay out a door all right, you should be able to lay off a fender, bro. The fender's the easiest part of the fucking car. Take the wide body piece off, wrap that hoe, wrap the fender, put the wide body piece back on. Problem fucking solved. So I'm pissed. So that's when I'm like, all right, bro, we, I just, I'm going to have to thug it off with this shitty rap. So I'm going to car meets, everybody telling me, oh, boom, 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 uh, your rap looks bad. Um, I'm a rapper. I can rap the car, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, everybody has came up to me at this point in, in fucking Arlington to tell me they can rap my car. So I'm pissed, bro. I'm pissed. Cause I, I like my shit perfect, bro. So I'm like, all right, well, the fuck I'm going to do? So I ra I pulled the fucking rap off in two fucking weeks, bro. I I had this rap on for two weeks, bro. I pulled the rap off. Tell me why, after I pulled the rap off and started pulling my car apart, he scratched up my paint, bro. He knifed my paint, bro. There were knife marks all around my paint, bro. There's dents all over my car, bro. All over the car, bro. Front bumper sliced up. Fender sliced up. Bumper sliced up. Head this dented. You can see where they screwed the they screwed the headliner to get the fin off. Like everything just looks bad, bro. Even if I wanted to go do black again, I couldn't, bro. I'd have to get my whole car repainted. So boom. I'm like, alright, well, I gotta wrap it. So we pull the whole car apart and wrap it car looks nowhere near as bad as yours not even i won't even say bad bro i i get compliments of how neat this rap is because you can't see shit guess what first time me and my friends ever touch rap it's not hard bro take your time bro if you want to produce a quality product you can and you will but the fact that you wanted to cut corners you wanted this car for promo and you wanted to rush it out to get money is what boggles my mind because it's like if somebody did that to your car you would not be happy now luckily for you nobody can do it to your car because your car got stolen i hate to say it but maybe your car got stolen for a reason i had nothing to do with it because i didn't even know you at the time so don't make the assumption that i had anything to do with it but get what you give in this world bro and that's all i'm gonna say you fuck somebody over you'll end up getting fucked over and for me bro before i saw the scratches in my paint i was just gonna cut it as a cut it as a loss but now after seeing the cuts in my paint bro i gotta do something about it at first i was just gonna let god handle it bro like god you know things don't always go as planned you know maybe I don't know. I just try to think the best for you, bro. Let me just let you slide and just do what you do, bro. And I'll just make sure everybody who wants a quality product does not come to you. Then I saw the scratches in my paint. Now we have an issue because this is a 2022 car. Brand new paint. I'm a detailer. This car has been ceramic coated, paint corrected. This car, the black, flawless, bro, before I brought it to you. Now you can see where the paint scratched up everything. Everything just looks terrible. So now 
I got to take you to court, bro. So that's that's the story of how I got scammed by a rapper. And I'll update you guys when we end up taking him to court because the card cuts are ridiculous. When I drop this video, bro, if you're watching it, you can call me, bro. I've already tried to talk to you, bro. If you want to settle it before we do take it to court, bro, we can do that. I have enough proof and evidence to sue you for a lot of things, bro. I, that's all I'm going to say, bro. You, I, I guarantee you, bro, you don't have half as much experience as, that I do in this game of running a business. I promise you. And I guarantee you, you don't have insurance either. So I suggest you give me a call, bro, and try to figure this out. Or you're going to have to file bankruptcy on your business, bro, because the amount of damage that's on my car, bro, you'll have to shut down your shop, bro. This is the final warning that I'm going to give to you, bro. If you know No Limit, which is the name of the guy, I don't even know, Brian, I think that's his name. If you know him, let him know. This is my final warning. I will not be played with in this industry. I have a name for myself. And I uphold myself to a certain product and a, a certain representation, bro. So if you wanted to do a crappy job to anybody's car, bro, it's probably the worst one. You'd have met your nightmare, bro. Hence my name. Have a good day. Nightmare out.